This giant box that you see right here in front of me arrived today down in our mail room for our apartment complex, and I've been expecting this for a while. Uh, a buddy of mine, a friend, former client, now, now a good friend, who reads a lot of books and sometimes will buy books and then, you know, be done with them, send them to me, or he'll, he'll get books on Kindle that he's got in his library and then he'll, he'll ship them off to other people. He wrote me and said, I've got a whole bunch of books on stoicism that I've got Kindle editions for, and I'm wondering if you know anybody who can give them a good home. And I said, well, I'll take them. And if I've got duplicates of these, I'll send them on to other people as well. I can find some good places for these. So this came, and this is a monster box. This is the biggest shipment of books, I think, that I've ever gotten since the time that I, I did this deal with Christian booksellers and got the entire uh, Anti-Nicene and post-Nicene uh, Christian Fathers thing, which was some boxes as well. This is 35 pounds, so this is quite a haul pulling it, you know, up from the mail room and bringing it in. And I'm really quite interested to see what we've got in here. Um, looks like it's going to be a little bit of doing to get this this thing open. Um, I mean, this is put together to really make it through through anything I I suppose so there you go snip snip and let's see what we actually have in here so this is I can already tell looking at it it's kind of an interesting haul um, and some of the things are not necessarily connected to um, stoicism but they're interesting nonetheless so i'm going to just go through all the books that are in here and and show them to you and show, show you what we what we got right so peter drucker's management revised edition that's that's good for me to have for my business ethics classes and then we've got uh diogenes laertes lives of the eminent philosophers now i have this in the Loeb edition but this is kind of nice to have oh there's a nice drawings and paintings in here so that is quite a cool haul um, and now looking at the rest it's a lot of it looks like stuff that that has to do with stoicism but maybe not everything decision quality value creation for better business decisions a book i don't have well worth checking out for me um, let's see what else we have in here that might not be Stoic related. Um, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, it looks like almost everything else is going to be connected. Let me see what the books over here to one or to the other. So we have another Diogenes Laertes thing specifically on the Stoics. I can pass this off to somebody and that'll be nice uh, for our local meetup group. Um, where to start? So I'll start with some that I already have. Farnsworth, the Practicing Stoic. Um, this is kind of a, a nice, well-regarded book. Um, it's uh, mostly just quotes from, from various Stoics and, and from other people talking about Stoicism, but Farnsworth put it into a nice arrangement, and there's some introductions to it that are kind of cool. Um, we've got Ellen Buzare's Stoic Spiritual Exercises, which I do not have, so this will be nice for me to, to have. Um, we have Donald Robertson's How to Think Like a Roman Emperor, which I do not have a copy of uh, at this point in time, so I can uh, finally get around to reading it and reviewing it. Um, another big, great haul, my colleague, Piotr Stankiewicz's Manual of Reformed Stoicism. Now, I have a review copy of this in PDF, but it's like watermarked and, and all of that. Uh, and this is the actual book. This is an expensive book. Vernon Press makes things, uh, they're not affordable. <laughs> so I didn't buy this because I, you know, I thought I'd get it at the library. So it's really great to have it. Um, Here's a Penguin edition of Seneca on the Shortness of Life, and it's got the consolation to uh, Helvetia and on Tranquility of Mind. I can pass this off to somebody as well. Um, what else have we got? Um, 
So there's a couple Seneca editions in here that I'll pull out right now. We have the Anger, Mercy, Revenge volume that's got On Anger and On Clemency, and also, interestingly enough, a play that Seneca wrote uh, where he's making fun of uh, uh, Claudius. We've got Seneca's Letters on Ethics. These are all the University of Chicago editions. And then we've got the Seneca Hardship and Happiness uh, one as well, which has got a lot of great stuff in it. So I, I've actually got um, copies of those already, and I will find somebody else uh, worthy and, and fitting to pass those on to. Um, what else have we got? This is neat. John Sellers, the Pocket Stoic, my friend and colleague John. Um, I, I have not seen this before. I'm going to have to check this out. I do have, um, no, actually, I don't have this, this uh, uh, version, I think, or do I, of Sellers' Stoicism. Uh, I think I have a different Sellers book, so this will be a, a nice addition to the library. And then we've got uh, some, some Cicero stuff in here as well. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, here we go. So the On Moral Ends and Cicero's On Duties, both of which I, I have. I know somebody else who can use these, though, so I'll be passing them off to them. And the Cicero on the Emotions translation by Margaret Graver of Tusculan Disputations 3 and 4. Also, great study material that I can pass off to others. I, I, I think I actually have this particular edition of Epictetus' Discourses and Selected Writings. Um, yeah, so, so this, this will be great for our Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship. This is one that I can circulate around, uh, make part of our little lending library. Um, we've got two different editions of Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. Um, these will be nice supplements for me because, you know, you look at the different translations of them. I read it in the, the Greek when I need to, but um, it's always nice to see what other people are making of them. So we got the Hart translation, or the Hayes translation and the Robin Waterfield translation. Um, we also have this, A Life of Marcus Aurelius by Frank McLinn. Um, this I haven't read, so this will be nice nice for me. Um, and I will, you know, look forward to that. Um, John Sellers book on Marcus Aurelius as well. This is great. A lot of sellers in here, which is, which is cool. Ooh, this one got, this one got a little bit bent up, but it's still good. Um, if you haven't read Becker's A New Stoicism, it's worth reading. It is very tough reading. Uh, Becker is not an easy writer. Interestingly, this client become friend of mine. We worked our way through this entire book over the course of months, and it's so dense. I've actually considered doing something like the Half Hour Hegel series, but for Lawrence Becker's uh, new stoicism, we'll see about that down, down the line. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the box at this point in time and just take all these books out since the box is uh, getting a little bit empty and unwieldy. So let's see what we got here. A couple Ado books. Um, the Inner Citadel, which I don't have. Really nice to have. Philosophy is a Way of Life. I've been using a PDF of that, so it's nice to have the actual copy of it or I would take it out of the local library and, and, and that was nice. Um, this I also don't have as well. Um, philosophy for Life and Other Dangerous Situations. Ancient Philosophy for Modern Problems by Jules Evans, who uh, I've met before at, very briefly at Stoicon 2016. Right? Um, so this will be cool to, to read. Uh, the new Ryan Holiday book, Lives of the Stoics, The Art of Living from Zeno to Marcus Aurelius. I, I'm not a big holiday fan, but I've been you know, wanting to check this out and see what he actually made of this. So it'll be worth going into. Uh, Tom Morris, oh, this is by the guy who wrote If Aristotle Ran General Motors, a, a good business ethics book from a long time ago. It'll be interesting to see what he does with Stoicism. He's got a book, The Stoic Art of Living, Inner Resilience and Outer Results. Um, if Aristotle wrote, uh, ran General Mo Motors, kind of a hit or miss book, this might be as well. Um, 
A. Long's Epictetus, A Stoic and Socratic Guide to Life. I've used the library copy of this. Having my own copy will be very, very nice by A. Long, Anthony Long, uh, one of the great researchers of Hellenistic philosophy, also the Stoicon speaker in 2018. Cool guy, too. I got to meet him and his wife and you know, it's like meeting a rock star, right? Um, this one I don't know, uh, but this looks quite interesting. Happiness is overrated by Raymond Angelo Belliotti. And looking at the table of contents, a little sassy wants to get in here. Um, it's about Greek, Roman, and Christian happiness, happiness reconceived, and contemporary philosophical views, the paths to happiness. So this is a pretty interesting book. I'll definitely check that out. Another copy of Letters from a Stoic, different edition, the Penguin edition by Seneca. This I'll definitely pass off to somebody. Now, this is one I haven't had. Uh, Everything Has Two Handles, The Stoic's Guide to the Art of Living by somebody who I've interacted with in the past, Ronald Peace, uh, who has written for Stoicism Today, presented at Stoicon, and I've met him a couple times, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, we're getting close to the bottom of the pile. We have uh, William uh, Ferraio's uh, Meditations on Self-Discipline and Failure. I've got a copy of this, so I'll pass this on as well. I've already reviewed that one. This one I don't have. The Stoics, A Guide for the Perplexed by Holochak. And we will see what this is, this is like. Um, I don't know this author. It uh, looks like it's heavily endnoted and... Uh, probably well-researched, so that'll be good to check out. Uh, another one I don't, don't actually know, The Stoics by F.H. A. F. H. Sandbach, Emeritus Professor of Classics. So this is, this is an older book published in 1975, and it looks like it's, uh, you know, an academic treatise, um, so that'll be worth checking out. Stoicism and Emotion, I just did an un- uh, boxing video of this last week, be, and I was so happy to have a copy of it finally, uh, because that mine got recalled by the Marquette University Library. There's a long story you can find out on the other video. I recommend this book to so many people. I will definitely pass this on to somebody who I, I know can use it, and I already have a person in mind. Finally, um, Michael Bruce and Stephen Barbone, just the arguments, 100 of the most most important arguments in Western philosophy. It would be interesting to see what they consider to be the most important arguments. It looks like it's divided into you know, epistemology, philosophy of religion, ethics, uh, philosophy of mind, science and language, um, metaphysics. So this will be interesting as well. So quite a haul of books. We'll uh, stack these up here and you can get some idea of how much stuff has just come in. So, um, you know, I would say that about, I would say that about um, at least a third to a half of these I'm going to be passing on to other people. Um, Some of them I'm going to be keeping because I don't already have copies of them, and it's nice to have that, but many of these will find their way to other people's hands, um, particularly in the Milwaukee Stoic Fellowship, and so it will be quite nice to send these on to some other people who can definitely get some uh, some mileage out of them. Wind's blowing (laughs) these books around. Got the the windows open. So, um, you know, this is very generous of of my my friend to send these in this giant banker's box, now very light, uh, previously was 35 pounds. Um, If you love books as much as I do, then I think you'll get a kick out of this haul. If you're into stoicism like I am, you'll probably also... Uh, find this interesting as well. And I don't really have anything more to say, so I'm going to stop the video here. And there we go. There's the books.